time to get off the darkest ground But gravity pulls you straight down Earth from a bird's eye view You should grow feathers and see this too So guys, I'm in Germany and I'm the first one out of the plane. That's how it goes. Number one in everything. I'm just kidding, but um, yeah, I always get the seat next to the entrance because that's the way to get out very quickly because I don't like when it's like cramped and stuff. And I'm on my way to the baggage claim. So I need to get my, my other baggage. And yeah, I'm really excited now to be in Germany. It's awesome. The weather in the UK was actually better than in Germany. these two isn't that cute <laughs> that's my mom anyway it's nice outside as well so got my TV which is awesome it means I can put my PlayStation there yes okay I need to get ready unpack my suitcase and my backpack and all that stuff Earth from a bird's eye view. Feathers and see this too When you want to get off the darkest ground There's always an easy way of doing things and a hard way So this is the new toothbrush Right, new bathroom This is basically, uh, you know, my mom's house And I just threw that on the floor She can't see that, don't tell anyone <laughs> Okay, so let me show you what I have been setting up. Nice flower, so all the way down there. And up. What I want to show you is I've got the TV set up. You know, this thing you can pull towards you. You can pull it all the way over here. And now the cool thing comes, which I want to show you. So I'm on my channel, and then it says play. You say play, and then look here. So I basically can navigate and everything from my iPad because I hooked up everything with the PlayStation down there. That's basically my pro setup now. Got my PlayStation down there, my iPad anyway, and then I've got a TV and that all works in conjunction really nicely. One thing I need to tell you, which is really, really funny. You've seen my little compilation of how I got here with the taxi and all that stuff. So long story short, I basically was running around like crazy 
and everything got delayed and delayed and delayed and I actually jumped into the aeroplane and the door basically behind me got shut and then the aeroplane took off so <laughs> I was like fucking hell I nearly didn't make it to Germany I haven't really slept as well <laughs> yeah that's something I just wanted to tell you because I found that quite funny that I nearly missed the train I missed the taxi and I missed the flight so I made it at the end of the day but it was very very close not making it right one other thing I want to talk about because uh, I mentioned that in my other video and now like a couple of you guys asked me and said, Mark, can you tell me what is going on? So why did you leave the gym? So first of all, what you need to know is I worked in the Fitness First gym in Baker Street for around three years as, a, as my local hub. Now, what that means is that I trained around, for me, it was like 30 to 40% of my clients in that gym and the rest of my clients I saw outside. So I travel a lot to my uh, clients within their houses, they've got gym and gyms in their houses, sometimes in their living rooms, in hotel rooms, in hotel gyms. I train people basically everywhere. Um, and that's the fun side of it. Now, the downside of training in a, in, a, in a gym like Fitness First is that we as PTs, the way it works, or generally this job for people who are interested in getting into this, um, is you rent that space. So you pay money towards a gym or towards whatever space obviously it's like renting something and then you train your clients there so that's how it works you pay rent and uh, to any sort of space and then you train your clients there the the major reason why i left is i wanted a change in my life um, and that is if i get bored of something i change it if i feel like i need to progress in life then i change it it has always been like that and um, you're going to see while i'm in germany i'm actually going to visit my gym i uh, co-founded with a friend of mine, a, a university friend, and I'm actually going to meet him in uh, Cologne and we're going to see our space. It's not my space anymore, but, you know, I founded it with him. A massive gym. It's, it's ridiculously big. It was the biggest one in Europe for what we used to do at that time. Again, for me, it was time to move on from that. That's why I went to London. I feel like I'm in the same position right now that I wanted to move on and do more online stuff because I feel like I can reach more people throughout this platform here on YouTube and reach out to more people than just, let's say, just the people I see face to face. Obviously, I'm very privileged with that because I have very, very good clients from the broad spectrum of clients, from six-year-old kids to 70-year-old grandmas, and then in terms of variety, it could be from the normal shopkeeper to actually a president. So the, the array is massive with the people I've been training and I've been very fortunate with that and I've learned a lot from my clients as well. It's not just that I teach them and tell them how to get in shape and whatever their goals are. But what happened is I want to reach more people. I want to sort of get out there and I can see that I can make a difference just by providing you guys with this knowledge here on, on my channel. And I think that's just freaking amazing. And I'd love to help more people out there. And this is one reason I left the gym, because I felt that I was limited to just that space in terms of what I can achieve in there. Um, it can be a great, um, in terms of earning money, you know, I earned enough money, I, I, uh, you know, I can live a comfortable life. It's all fine, all fun, but for me it wasn't enough. And sometimes earning the money isn't the, the motivation. It is something behind it, it's something you want more in life. And this is what I always say to you guys, what is the why? What is it that gets you out of your freaking bed and stand up and do whatever you do? And for me it is to inspire other people to become the best version of themselves in terms of their body shape and knowing, and this is the really key, is that you know you can do it. Because I've now proven it on this channel, not only with myself, with the 500 reps and 1000 reps challenge, and also with you guys taking charge of your life, and with my clients, which I have now over the last 20 years. It's just something I enjoy doing. I enjoy teaching people how to do this because it isn't rocket science. That's what I always say. But if you're not the scientist, then you don't know how to do it. Pretty simple. So that's why I'm here. That's why I try to cut the bullshit and tell you how it is, what you need to do, and then you get there. Now, I always say it's pretty simple, but you know, it isn't at the end of the day because you do need to know what you're talking about. That's one of the major reasons, really. The, the more I think about it, that is really the the major reason is for me to be able to reach as many people as I can and then affect them with sort of the flame and fire in, in me and what I do and motivate you guys by doing video after video showing you what I do on a daily basis, showing you how people take this learning from here, transform their life over there and then presenting it to you, you know, feeding it back to you and getting this going, building a community, making sure we are all on the same page 
and being here for you as a sort of resource, you can always grab and say, Mark, you know what? I don't know what is going on. Tell me the truth. Tell me what is going on. Because this is, this is missing on YouTube. And I want to be a resource for you guys because the thing is, I think here on YouTube, one big problem is that you see a lot of people behind the camera and they're like, you know, super pumped and they look really big and built and stuff and so on. And then when you start following them, you realize that you will never reach their physique, whatever they try to sell you and teach you and so on, you just will never look like them. And the reason is they don't tell you what kind of supplements they're on and what other little <laughs> injections they get into their ass. So this is the reason why I'm different here on YouTube because you look at me and you know, you know what? That's an achievable physique because it freaking is. It is a physique I've built over years and years and years without taking any sort of, you know, enhancing supplements except this one creatine which is the most researched supplement within the sports science and uh, sports history also you don't need to freaking take it and that's what i feel is my sort of purpose now for the coming sort of months to be here for you to be here for my online coaching clients i'm going to be focusing on making quality informational educational fun entertaining videos here on youtube as i'm doing right now and better ones to come Plus, I will focus on building my, uh, you know, online coaching presence a bit more. That's something I've got more time on. And I'm going to be traveling because I'm going to see people still face-to-face, one-to-one in different continents. So, for example, in Germany, so I've got a couple of clients here. Then I'm going to go to Bangkok and I'm going to do the same thing over there. And maybe LA as well. So, this is, this is my plan for now. I know you guys were interested in that. That's why I'm sharing this. If you don't give a fuck, then, you know... I can't help you. What I'm going to be doing now is actually I'm going to play a little PlayStation. I don't know, some game. I haven't played for probably half a year. I've, I've owned this PlayStation, but I haven't really used it. So today I'm dedicating an hour or two to, you know, just calm down, have a bit of fun. And then I'm going to see you guys tomorrow. So make sure you punch the like button, punch the subscribe button, and I'm going to see you freaking tomorrow. Mm.